Hey, what's up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this uh, little React application using React Bootstrap. So basically this is a tutorial on how to install React Bootstrap and how to use Bootstrap inside your React application. This is just one component here. It's the Bootstrap carousel component. Basically, it's just an image slider. We're using it as a hero image slider. And I just imported several images that I pulled from pexels.com. And I'll show you how to import everything and set it up how we like it. So this particular one, it switches slides every uh, one to two seconds and um, has the arrows here that we can navigate through the slides manually. And also down here at the bottom, it tells us what slide we're on. And we can also navigate by clicking on the links below. So, and here is our H1 here and uh, some text. I'm gonna show you how to customize everything. And of course it is fully responsive with Bootstrap. It's a great feature of Bootstrap. So if you're ready to get started, I'm going to show you how to do it from the beginning. It's going to be a quick video to follow along for complete beginners. So if you're ready to get started, let's jump in. All right, guys, to get started, I am in VS Code. I'm going to press the control back tick button to open up my terminal. And I'm on my desktop here. I'm going to press uh, type in create npx create dash react dash app. And I'm going to name my application bootstrap slider. Okay, press enter. And this will only take a moment, you guys. All right, looks like we're ready to go. I'm gonna pull over my file that we just created. All right, I'm gonna close this. And to get started, I'm gonna press the control back tick button. And since we're using Bootstrap, let's go over to our browser here. And I'm just gonna search for React Bootstrap. This looks like it right here. So let's click on the get started button there. And what we want to do is install the Bootstrap package. So I'm going to copy that and come right over here install that we'll check in our package.json file should be a really quick install bootstrap right bootstrap okay there we go looks like we are all installed so what we'll do next is let's clean up some of these files that we won't be working with i'm just going to delete those the once we delete those make sure we go in here we have to get rid of a few of these things otherwise we will get some errors when we try and start our server so, and we don't need all this. This is just the boilerplate code that React starts you with. And we'll leave the app.css. We'll leave everything just like that. Let's go ahead and start our server with npm start to see how everything is looking. Yes. Well, should just be a Y that I left in there. We'll go ahead and type in the, whoa. Hello, and let's see what it is. There we go. Perfect. Seems to be working properly. So let's go back into the React Bootstrap website. What we need to do is grab the minified CSS uh, text here. And here it is right here, right under CSS. So let's copy that. Go back to our code editor. We won't be needing that. And I'm going to put this in the index.js file right here like so. And what that's going to do is going to grab all the styling for our components that we're going to use. So back on the React Bootstrap site, I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on the components tab here. And what we're going to be using is the carousel component. And they have several different options here. I'm going to scroll down to this one here. It's a uh, interval changing after one second, the slide changes. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to cruise back over here to our terminal or to our code editor, and I'm just going to paste it right in. Actually, let's create a components folder just to keep the structure nice and easy. And I'm going to call this hero slider.js. Okay. And I'm going to just generate a functional component here. And then within here, we will paste our carousel and save. There we go. Looking good. So right now it's not going to display properly. If we look back over there, uh, it's not pulling over any images. Oh, of course we forgot. Let's import this here. And this was hero slider. Go ahead and press enter. So it auto imports at the top and we're getting some errors as well. So what we need to do is here, we're going to import carousel from react bootstrap. Okay, so that should take care of all those errors. There's still going to be, we don't have any images loaded here. I'm not sure if these will be working or not. So let's go have a look. 
Okay, so the component seems to be working correct, correctly. We're just not seeing any images. So let's go pull some images. I'm gonna go to pexels.com to grab some images here. Uh, let's see, let's see what pops up. All right, that looks good. What I'm gonna do is just copy this image address. I'm not gonna download them and um, put them in my file or anything like that. I'm just gonna make this easy. So under this first source, I'm gonna change that right there and I'm gonna paste that in. Then let's grab another, let's grab some more, two more images. Okay, that looks cool. And I'm gonna paste this one in right here. This is the second slide. And let's go back, what else we got? Cool, ah, these look cool. All right, and let's copy this one. This will be number three. So let's go to our React app and see how it's looking. Cool. So there it is, you guys. It's taking up the whole screen here. And we have our buttons here. And these are our labels down here. It says first slide label. This is just going to be an H tag and then a P tag. And then it has our, our slide links that we can also click on. So if we want to edit this, this is first, first slide label. We can change this to this is the first slide. And if we look back over here, there is our text changed. Okay. So, and what if you want to add another picture? Cause these are only three. So let's go grab another picture. What if we want to add this one right here? So let's copy this image address. Let's go down to VS code. And this carousel item is what the slide is. So basically we can just highlight that. And I'm just going to copy that down. And I'm just going to paste in here the image address for our fourth slide. And of course this will be the same, but we can actually change this to whoop, fourth slide label. Okay. So let's go back here to our React app. And notice now we have four slides. That's our second one. Boom, third and fourth slide label. So that is how the React carousel works. Now, what if you want to change some styling in here? Great question. Let's go back here. And what we could do is, so we have this D block just to make it easy right here. Let's go into our app.css. I'm going to press the say control A in here to select everything. And I'm going to delete it since we already deleted everything out of our app.js. And I'm just going to grab onto the image here and say we want the, let's say the height we want it to be 600 pixels. So let's go back here and there you go. So with react, it already has, I think it has that stretch on there. So it looks kind of funny. So we can change the styling if we'd like. If for some reason you, you type in your, your CSS over here and it's not showing up correctly on your screen. Sometimes you do need to add the important feature right there for CSS. And basically it, makes that line of CSS uh, more important, more so than the others. And it'll actually disregard all their CSS um, rules. So, and it just goes to this one. So let's go back here. We didn't have to do it in this case, but that was, you know, just in case it doesn't work on your machine. So there you have it, you guys. And hey, what if we want to add a little nav bar in React for the bootstrap? So that's cool. Let's go back here. Components, where's our nav bar? There's nav bar. And we can grab any one of these. Um, here, yeah, let's grab. Mm, grab one. This one's kind of cool. Let's grab, cool. Let's grab this one here. So I'm going to copy that. And in our components folder, let's create a, na uh, whoops. Let's say nav component. Whoops, component.js. Okay, and I'm gonna type RAFCE to generate my functional component. And in here, I'm going to paste this and let's bring it over. There we go. Okay, so navbar is not defined, just like in this first one. What we need to do is import navbar from Styled component, or sorry, not styled components from React. 
bootstrap, used to doing cloud components. Uh, it's likely going to give us a whole lot more errors here. Uh, let's have a look. So nav bar is not defined. Let's see what else it's looking for here. Nav bar is not defined. Oh, it didn't pull it in. Let's say import. Let's see nav. Nav bar from components. Okay, so here are all the other errors it is telling us we are running into. So what we can do here, is put a comma, and basically I'm just gonna type in everything that's listed down here. So container, uh, looks like off canvas, nav, nav, drop down, and we'll see what else we have here. Form, form control, button. I believe that should be all of them, cool. That took care of all of our errors. Let's just refresh that. Boom. There you have it, you guys. There's our nav bar. And everything is looking properly. Of course, all the styling is all out of whack. All the, None of the colors match. But that's not the point of this video. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to use uh, React Bootstrap and to import a carousel into your application. So I hope you liked it, you guys. It was a quick video. I know it was very basic. Um, this is just if you like using Bootstrap. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. I like to customize everything myself. So if you like to do things the hard way, like I do, then Bootstrap may not be what you want to use. But if you like, the, you know, just that basic look here, uh, just to put something to production really quickly, then Bootstrap may be something that you want to look into. Hope you liked it, you guys. Give it a like if you did down below and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to be putting out some more content just like this in the near future. And I think the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, completely from scratch from the beginning. So without a uh, library like Bootstrap or Tailwind. So hope you liked you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.